Hey guys, guess what? Today, the unpromised beta version of Lancas desktop client is released. Which literally means you can try Lancas with your Asterisk PBX now. Sounds pretty cool, right? To get it going, all you need is to upgrade your Asterisk PBX firmware to the latest version, 30.9.0.5, and download the desktop installation packet from www.yastar.com. Or, you can just find the download link directly in the description of this video down below here. Once you have it downloaded, you can install it on any Windows PC you have and get it going. Well, the Mac version will be ready pretty soon. Stay tuned! With Lancas Desktop, all extension features of your IP film will be synchronized on your desktop. Making your computer a desktop soft film of the corporate telephony system What's more, Lincoln's desktop client will work as a useful collaboration enhancing tool with features of presence and CRM integration, ultimately increasing your work efficiency. The function of instant messaging will be coming soon. With our Lincoln's mobile app and Lincoln's desktop client, you will get connected anytime, anywhere, anyhow. Having upgraded the firmware, we can download Lincoln's from App Center. Enable Lincas on selected extensions and send a verification mail to extension users. Extension users can simply copy the registration link included in the activation mail and paste it directly in the login page of Lincas desktop client to log in the system. Read and agree to the privacy policy agreement. Set our new password and log in. Here we are. With user-friendly graphical design, we will easily learn how to make and receive a call from ourselves. Let's see some advanced features. Click on the left side corner icon here. In settings, we can customize personal account information, change the avatar, add its username and mobile number. In presence, we are also able to customize our own presence and decide how to deal with incoming calls in different circumstances. We have in total 5 options. Available, Away, Do Not Disturb, Lunch Break, and Business Trip. For each type of presence, we can add description display to our colleagues. Set the destination for call for wording. We have a bunch of options. Last, a very important setting. Ring strategy. We have our own IP film, link as desktop client and mobile client, totally under control. So we can decide how these three terminals deal with incoming calls to make sure we won't miss any important call. For example, when we are on a business trip, we can have our own mobile ring first, and if we happen to miss the call after a timeout, our IP film and PC will ring secondly. But in Do Not Disturb, we only need to write down a description. Now, we have set the presence. Get to the avatar and pick up any one of presence accordingly. Let's move on to the other settings. We can turn to the setting page directly here. In audio, we can adjust the volume of our microphone and speaker and test it to see if they can work well. Click Advanced and we can set the language of the app. Now, we have English and Chinese. And of course, we're going to have more supported in the future. Set ring timeout of our personal extension, and we have more features available down here. Auto answer, call waiting, auto startup, and more settings about daily use. Then, change the password right here. Remember, to always set a strong password for yourself. Next, hotkeys. Enable the hotkeys for your better control of the app in your computer. One more important feature we are going to set is our collaboration tool, CRM integration. Click here. Now, Google Contacts and Outlook are supported, and of course, we're going to release more in the future. The general settings will apply to all CRM supported. We can decide when the contact information will be pop out when a call comes in. Synchronize call history in the CRM system and easily create a new contact. Next, 
Let's see how to integrate Leica's desktop client with Google Contacts and Outlook. First, choose Google Contacts, and we need to get the authentication code from Google account. We can choose the default browser or any other browser as we like. Now we use default browser. Click Get the Code. Copy that code and paste it in the desktop client. Then, when there's an incoming call from our Google Contacts, the related messages will be pop out automatically. If it's a new contact, we can click to add a new one. Alright, let's try the Outlook. Choose Outlook, and then start Outlook. It will instruct us to install an add-on. Agree with that. Once it's finished, get back to the desktop client and click Configure Contacts Query Directory. Take the directory generated from the system and save all the configuration. Our job is done. Afterwards, when there is an incoming call from our Outlook contact list, the related information will be pop out. And we can also click to call from Outlook directly. Mind that, if we're trying to call from Outlook, the number dialed must match the dial pattern of the PBX outbound routes. Otherwise, we will fail to call. And the next one, the About. When we click on that, it's actually the place where we can upgrade our application. Okay guys, that was all about the configuration. So, why don't we just have a try now with JSTAR SRS Void PBX and the beta version of Lanka's desktop client. Alright, hope this video could help you to figure out the configuration. You can just download it for your test. And, please leave us your comment down below here, sharing your ideas with us. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys in the next one.